Why is it that I understand when native speakers talk, I understand when I watch movies, I don't even need the subtitles of the movie, or I understand when I listen to different music, but I cannot talk myself. When it comes to me, when someone asks me to talk in English, I cannot talk. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main topic for today's discussion. We're going to be talking about the reasons and the, the, the factors as to why some people cannot talk in English. Well, there might be a couple of reasons. Number one is your active vocabulary. Now, we all know that vocabulary has two types. It is either it, it has active vocabulary and the passive vocabulary. Active vocabulary are the words that you use on everyday basis, on a daily basis. And the passive vocabulary are the ones that are stored in your memory, but they will not kick in unless you see or read something. That, that's when you know the passive vocabulary comes into play and helps you to to figure out the meaning of the word but apart from that we don't use our passive vocabulary that's uh, one of the one of the factors that we cannot sometimes uh, express our thoughts in a meaningful way that's because we don't we have the vocabulary but we don't know how to use it or we haven't used it for so long uh, it looks like we never knew that word so first thing we have to do is try to activate your passive vocabulary as much as you can now how do you do that well basically you can you know grab pen and a paper and open up your you know go through your notebooks and try to find the words that you never use and when you have like let's say 10 or 20 words you can try to you know uh, create a story using the same words and after that you you have to use these words on a daily basis you need to try to find a space to, to to use to actually use that word that's you know the frequent usage of these words makes them active vocabulary the more your active vocabulary grows the better your speaking skills are going to be so try to make use of your passive vocabulary don't let it you know sit there at the back of your mind and never use it no it's not for that try to activate it that's number one number two is when you don't use enough phrasal verbs native speakers use phrasal ver verbs pretty frequently almost in every sentence so go through the phrasal verbs try to see how they were used in what context can they be used and try to apply these techniques that you learn in your daily usage so that's something uh, that will be a plus for your speaking skills and then the last but not the least you can always download you know certain applications that are available for free out there uh, for iPhones and for Android users we have tons of tons of applications that could be downloaded where they focus on speaking uh, you download this application and then you register and the application automatically peers you with someone from another part of the world and then you start talking in English uh, and you know most people can't talk uh, because they are either too shy or they don't know the vocabulary so we talked about the vocabulary part the shyness is another barrier that needs to be taken out of your way uh, it's an impediment that will you know uh, that will stop you from talking you're scared you don't know which word to use or you've never talked to you know too many people some people are just shy in nature so that uh, shyness will have to be uh, taken out of your life if you want to be an active user of the English language thank you so much Please subscribe and share this video and we'll see you in the next episodes.